Hi everyone, we're here today to talk about newbie bite number one, everything is an object. You're going to hear this a lot throughout the newbie bites, but everything in Python can be considered an object. To keep it simple to start, think about an object as simply something that you can store information or data in. So imagine you have a cardboard box, you want to keep some important data saved in there, and then you use the object name to label that box that you're storing the information in. The way that you store information in an object is with the assignment operator. That is the equal sign in Python. And the syntax for that is you put the object name on the left-hand side, you have the equal sign, and then you put the value or the data that you're trying to store in that object name on the right-hand side. Let's take a look at a very simple example here to start. I'm gonna open up the Python REPL. This will just give me an interactive way to code in Python and have it appear on the screen. So our very first object that we're gonna create is my age, and I'm gonna store the value 30. So if I type in just the object name again, the Python REPL is gonna to return to me the value that I stored in there. That's it. We've just created our first object. We've assigned it the value 30. Let's head back to our presentation here, and there are a couple things to keep in mind as we're creating object names. First of all, you can only use the letters A through Z, the numbers 0 through 9, and the underscore. If you try to add any other characters, or if you try to add a space into anything, it's not going to work. Instead of using an underscore, and I can say my age is equal to 30, so I have a space in between my object name and you can see I'm gonna get a syntax error. The second thing to keep in mind here is that you cannot start with a number. So again, let's say I have multiple ages and I wanna call my, my first age the first age, and I'm gonna assign that the value of 20. And as you can see, because I start with the number one, it's not gonna work. What I can do is I can include a number, it just cannot start with the number. So I can say that age one has a value of 20 and that's gonna work, no syntax error. And then I can retrieve the value for age one as well. And we can indeed see that it is 30. Next thing to keep in mind, the object names are in fact case sensitive. So if I were to create age, age with an uppercase A and all capitals age, it's gonna give me three different objects. So heading back to the REPL, I can create age, and I'm just going to assign the age to 10. I'm going to do capital A, and I'm going to assign this to the age 11, and I'm going to do all capitals and give that the age 12. And if I look at my age, I have 10, capital A is 11, and all caps is in fact 12. Last thing is you cannot use special reserved keywords. We'll talk more about these in a later bite, but just as in a quick example, the word and has a special value in Python. So if you try to use just the word and to store some information, you're also gonna get a syntax error. Now it's your turn to get coding. Go ahead and try to assign the age 86 to the object Bob's age, just like it says on the newbie bytes page.